Twisted Metal, the very popular franchise that swept all PlayStation users off their feet in the late 90s to early 2000s. Now, if you don't know what Twisted Metal is, or even if you do, Twisted Metal is a car combat game released in 1995. With a total of 9 games in the franchise, the series has unfortunately died, with the last installment being in 2012. But with the announcements of a new game and a TV series on the horizon, I decided to take another look into the series. And with my channel taking a liking to the game franchise, I suppose it's time to talk about it again. And one of its creepiest and most terrifying glitches ever. Now, each Twisted Metal game is very different in nature. The vibe in each and every Twisted Metal game is completely different from one another, with an example being Twisted Metal 4. Twisted Metal 4 is a very goofy game. Twisted Metal Small Brawl is also insanely goofy and is made for kids. And then, if we go over to Twisted Metal Black, the game is dark, grimy, and scary. And if we go to Twisted Metal 2012, that game kind of borders both of those spectrums. What I'm saying is each and every game is different in themes and tones. I can explain. But when people usually think about Twisted Metal, most of the fanbase thinks about their favorite game, which is mostly Twisted Metal Black, and how dark the themes and vibes are in that game. And with Sweet Tooth being an absolutely terrifying main antagonist in the franchise, the games are horror adjacent. And these games know that they're horror adjacent. They try to make each and every game, at least after Black, have some sort of horror theme within it. <laughs> Twisted Metal Head On, for example, has Twisted Metal Lost, which was the lost Twisted Metal game that we were supposed to get, which was supposed to be a sequel to Twisted Metal Black. But I made a completely separate two-part series on this game, so click the button up here if you want to check it out, and then come back to this video after or do it vice versa. Those videos are very informative and will spend a lot of your time making you wish that game released. Then. Twisted Metal 2012. While that game was generally creepy with the design of how every character looked, how the bosses were made, and just how most of the game played out, it was very creepy nonetheless. But what if I told you one of these games had an already terrifying glitch that makes the game feel like a cursed creepypasta story? Oh brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before I tell you guys this terrifying glitch, I want you guys to subscribe for more Twisted Metal videos. I make a lot of them, and it would help the channel out greatly. Now, let's jump into this because this is absolutely terrifying. The Twisted Metal series are a series of very well-crafted video games. In my playthrough of most of the games, I never really experienced any strange glitches or any game-breaking glitches that have ruined my gaming immersion. But I got a comment on one of my other Twisted Metal videos to talk about this. In my Twisted Metal Iceberg video, a user by MonkeyHead15 commented this. There's one I haven't seen discussed much, and it's a creepy sound glitch in the 2012 game. It happens randomly, and has happened to me once as well. You can find multiple videos on YouTube of it, and it's one of the creepiest things about the game in my opinion. So, since I've been sick all week, I decided to search it up for the hell of it. And it is actually terrible. So when playing Twisted Metal 2012, you're playing the levels, beating the game, and just having a generally good time. Then, sometimes this weird glitch can occur, and it seems to be completely at random. There isn't anything or any way to predict this glitch, and it just happens for no reason. I don't ever remember having this glitch happen to me, especially when I used to play the game religiously when I was younger. I could only find three videos on YouTube, and a discussion board about this glitch. So, let's look into it. All I had to do was Google Twisted Metal 2012 Sound Glitch, and I found this discussion board on the Twisted Metal Alliance, which is basically a discussion board for Twisted Metal fans. The OP and the discussion board asked this question. Have you heard this before with the provided YouTube link? Clicking the YouTube link will bring you to one of the videos with the noise that has been described. But before I show you this video, let's look further into the discussion board and see if we can find anything else. Another user replied, no, I have not. I usually play with my own albums playing through the game, so I never noticed it. That sounds pretty weird 
though. Maybe it's just some environmental music that randomly gets triggered. It's almost like a train near the end. But as we scroll through the board, there isn't anything of use to figure out what this glitch could possibly be. So, as a normal sane person would, I went to the next best pace, which was Reddit. And unfortunately, I got literally no help there. So that means I was alone in this endeavor to figure out what this terrifying glitch is and what causes it. So firstly on YouTube, I looked up Twisted Metal glitches to see if there was any other weird glitches and bugs in this game that could help me correlate to the sound glitch. As I searched it up on YouTube, many videos appeared from glitches from every other single Twisted Metal game, from the first to the latest installment. Many of these glitches were just out of bound bugs, errors in the game, people falling out of the map, and etc. And that was honestly about it. So, that means this is one of the only sound glitches in the game, or at least one of the only sound glitches that were posted on the internet. Yes, there are sound glitches where, for example, you boot up Twisted Metal head-on and no audio plays, but that is the only other sound glitch I was able to find, and I don't think that is the same thing as what I'm about to show you. But it's nothing like this sound glitch. So with nothing to go off of, we're gonna try and figure out what usually causes audio bugs in video games. So I'm gonna show you the glitch and let's try and figure it out. So one of the main things that cause audios to glitch out in video games is overutilization. Basically, it's when too much is going on in the game. When too many audios overlaps, it may cause the sound to become choppy or be bugged out. One example is in Grand Theft Auto Online or in GTA 5 in general. When playing the game, sometimes there'll be too many explosions going off in the background, which causes the audio to become very choppy and lag behind the actual game. But then why is this audio not choppy, but instead echoey? The audio instead sounds like all audio in the game. Besides, it quits and then goes silent very suddenly, with no warning of the glitch about to happen. It's almost like a jump scare. So what my initial theory is, is that something causes the audio to immediately cut out. Then, the audio that has caused the audio to glitch out has a reverb effect on it that causes the audio to reverberate over and over and over again until it is eventually fixed. Now, in the videos, it seems like over time, you just have to let the audio play out until it fixes itself. It doesn't seem like in any of the footage, the people playing do something that fixes the audio. It just fixes itself over time. Now, you might be asking yourself, Double G, it's just a glitch. Why should we care so much about it? Yes, it's creepy, but who cares? Well, what if I told you if you've ever experienced this glitch, it might mean you have a cursed version of the game. Now yes, this does sound like a creepy pasta, but just listen for a sec. Now, if you're a hardcore Twisted Metal fan, you might be thinking about the airplane crash note that was featured in Twisted Metal Head-On Extra Twisted Edition. Basically, the developers of Twisted Metal Lost died in a plane crash and their spirits sent Sony a note to release the unfinished game. Now yes, obviously it is fake, but this might not be. Ever heard of a personalized game disc? Now, what this means is that every single version of Twisted Metal 2012 is personalized to fit a certain player's game style. So basically, your game will develop and evolve to better handle your playstyle. Now, the very popular N64 Mario game was rumored to have this feature. Players experience different things compared to some other players, so people begin to theorize that each individual game disc was personalized. It explains why the N64 Mario game has a bunch of creepy stories written about it. A bunch of people experience different, terrifying things in their games, then people wouldn't believe them because their other games would be completely different. So people begin to speculate that the games were either personalized or haunted. Now we're definitely in tinfoil hat territory here, but this could definitely explain the weird glitch. Now I don't think this is why the glitch happens. Personally, I don't think the game would be able to determine or figure out a reason to scare you in the middle of a match like this. 
Plus, if the developers wanted to give you a scare, they could have just flashed like a jump scare in the screen or something else. So I'm gonna stay away from this theory. But there is another video on YouTube with the title saying, My Twisted Metal Game is Cursed. And then the video proceeds to show this sound glitch. Now, in every one of these videos, including the glitch, the player is doing something completely different compared to the other player. So, that means that this happens at complete random. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Have you ever experienced or seen a glitch like this in another video game, or even in this Twisted Metal game? And if you guys have, comment down below with ideas of what you guys think could cause this glitch. Because honestly, I'm not too sure. Personally, I love the idea that each individual Twisted Metal game is personalized, but I just don't think the likelihood of that being true is very high, unfortunately. I don't know what could cause a glitch like this, as I haven't seen or experienced any glitches like this in my history of gaming. Is it a creepy glitch? Yes. Is it something I wouldn't want to see in my Twisted Metal game? Yes. I can understand why people think that this makes their game haunted or cursed, hence why the one dude made his video titled, My Twisted Metal Game is Cursed. Now, if you would like to believe that Twisted Metal has a dark spirit hidden within each individual game disc, go ahead and do that. But that's just not very likely, obviously. Glitches in video games can be caused by many things, and unfortunately, with the variables in this glitch, I can't really tell what causes it. Maybe the game is haunted after all. Maybe the developers put it in the scare players. But I guess it is pretty scary and would make the Twisted Metal fans happy if this was a weird easter egg hidden in the game disguised as a glitch. If you guys remember or have ever played Batman Arkham Asylum, there is a sequence in the game where it glitches, making the player think the game crashed on them. Then it transitions into a scarecrow level. So, this wouldn't be unheard of as Batman Arkham Asylum came out three years prior to Twisted Metal 2012. So, it's up to you guys to think about what you want to think about. But since I post creepy Twisted Metal videos, I felt like this was a very interesting topic that I haven't seen anyone post about. Make sure to check all my other Twisted Metal videos. I have a full hour long Twisted Metal iceberg if you guys are still interested in all the creepy things in Twisted Metal. This was one of the things I overlooked in my iceberg video and didn't know about, so I decided to make a separate video on it. Plus, I have a whole documentary series basically on the lost Twisted Metal game, Twisted Metal Harbor City, which was a sequel to the very popular Twisted Metal Black. Make sure to check out those videos and to like this one. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe for more scary videos based on gaming and have an amazing day.